Hello, welcome back to Georgie B's Cards and Stuff. Today I'd like to show you how, how I made this card. This card is a brand new set, brand new papers. And um, yeah, so I thought I'd show you how I've done this. The stamp set is hand penned petals. And today I'm just using that stamp there. And I'm colouring it in with um, blends, so I'm not using the infills. And the dies, I haven't put them in yet, are called pen flower dies. And this is the die we're going to be using today, which will cut this image out. And I've already done this for the edge of the white. I just found the middle of the card and cut it out both ways. So put that back for there. Right, and put that. For the background, I've just used textured essentials. I know this is retired. But you can use any background you want. And we're just using that stump there. Also for the background, Quiet Meadow for their splatter dots. And I've just used that. For the sentiment, Let's Celebrate You. And this is also a retired stamp set. So I needed the sentiment, so that's why I've used it. The card stop. I have got a white card bank, card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored up four and one eighth, and burnished. I've also got a piece of white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside. I've got a piece of DSP. This is called, oh. now this is in the hostess, so if you hold a party and your order is big enough you might get these papers free. So I've got that, it's 48 sheets for a value of £29, which is not bad. Oh, I never said what it was called, did I? What's it called? Pattern Party 12 by 12. So I'm using the black and white gingham. I've also got another piece. This was 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. And I just cut it diagonally like that. Found the middle and then cut this off. This makes a change from a big flat white one. So we're going to stamp on there to start with. And to do that we're going to use crumb cake. No, let's stamp our flour first, give it a chance to dry. What did I do with my scrap? I need to get another piece. Right, our flour. I've got Memento black ink and we're just going to ink this up really nice and stamp it down there's our image rid of that and I'll bring my Versafine onyx black for the sentiment which I'm going to put down here upside down and not very straight it's all right I'll cut that straight now this I believe 
will just fit on this. So what I'm going to have to do is cut round the paper as soon as I line this up and tape it down. Did it so I could get it on there. That's it. Well stuck up here. Right, that is that cut out, and we should colour that in afterwards. That goes in our Let's get this done. Crumb cake. A piece of paper. Ink that up. And I think I stamped off. I did. Get up and That is our background in crumb cake. And then I've got Highland Heather, because we're going to colour our flower in Highland Heather. And with the dots, again, stamped off. All I did was put them around the edges like that. And that's our background. Put that to the side. Don't need that. Right, our flower. I have got Highland Heather, light and dark, bit of light craze on craze, and so succulent, light and dark. We'll do these first. Right, with the so succulent, what I did is I just coloured in half. Of the leaf in light. There is a um, infill stamp with this set to give the artist impression. But I didn't want to use them yet. Right, and with the dark, we go over the other half. Right, 
like that. Take the light again and just go over the middle just to blend the two colours in. far away let's see if we can oh, zoom you in a bit and there is what I've done with the leaves right with the flower oh, I want the dark one yep with the dark all I did was go round all that end because the brush is gone around the edge and in a little bit don't go right over the leaf just leave the middle of the leaf clear And the same with this flower, just go around the edges. And then I think this bit's gone on. Oh, and then go over the whole flower with the light. Blending over the dark. Better off doing it with the thin end. Squeaky pens. Would have done this in a new colour, but I didn't. I only have what colours did I buy? Oh, so succulent and um. Uh, Pale Papaya. I haven't got used to the name shirt of the new inks. looks quite well blended. Right then with the occasional crow I'm just pulling in this centre piece here. <clears throat> and one thing I forgot, um, dark moss, mossy meadow is for the branch. I 
and that is our um, flower sorted and that will just sit up there on dimensionals so we need to pop some dimensionals on it saying that's too many dimensionals. I like a lot of dimensionals. Right, we do need a mini for the stem. Yeah, that will do nice. But first we're going to put this Together. So we're going to put this on the piece of paper and I'm going to go right on the edge. on the edge of the paper like that. And then that is going to go on here. Usually I put a bit of colour card underneath the paper but this time I decided not to. Take these off. I mean, if you wanted it that way and put the cut, oh, I think we'll do that this time. And pop that like that. It just goes to show you could have it different ways. Right, now we need to sort our celebrator out and I've got a mini trimmer here let's turn it round and I'm going to sort that out because it's not very straight and then trim that down Could do with a little bit more of. That's better. And this. We will have come in this way instead. Not very straight. That's better. So we want some dimensionals on there, some minis. Or just. Pop a bit of glue there and pop that 
just there. And what's left? Gems. We've got these black gems here. Not many of them. But I'm nearly out of them. I need to go in my drawer and see if I've got any more. And we're going to have three. So we'll have one there, one there, and one down there. do is just pop this in. I didn't do anything on the inside because you're celebrating and I don't know what you're celebrating. Right, there is our card. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. If you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more cards I upload, which is usually uh, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.